Lake Arad in Arad, Republic of Macedonia. Lake Arad straddles the mountainous border between southwestern part of North Macedonia and eastern Albania. It is one of Europe's deepest and oldest lakes, with a unique aquatic ecosystem of worldwide importance, with more than 200 endemic species. Lake Arad was declared a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1979, and in 2010, NASA named one of Titan's lakes after it. In 2014, the Arad Prespa Transboundary Reserve between Albania and North Macedonia was added to UNESCO's World Network of Biosphere Reserves. The towns situated at the lakeside are Pogradec in Albania, along with Arad and Struga in North Macedonia. The lake is otherwise densely surrounded by settlements in the form of villages and resorts in both basin countries. Lake Arad is the deepest lake of the Balkans, with a maximum depth of 288 meter and a mean depth of 155 meter. It covers an area of 358 square kilometers containing an estimated 55.4 cubic kilometers of water. It is 30.4 kilometers long by 14.8 kilometers wide at its maximum extent with a shoreline length of 87.53 kilometers, shared between North Macedonia and Albania. Of the total surface area, 248 square kilometers belongs to North Macedonia and 110 square kilometers belongs to Albania. There are endless amounts of things to do here. Whether you're interested in being active, cultural, or lazy, you'll find something to suit your mood. We were at the lake in the wintertime, and there were still loads of things to do. If you come in the summer, you'll never be bored. Svati Nam Monastery, St. Nam This Eastern Orthodox monastery was established in 905 by St. Nam, who is also buried in the church. Entering into the complex you'll pass under a stone archway, across a little river and past many peacocks. The monastery itself is lovely, but once you reach the actual church, which has incredible views of the mountains and lake, you'll be completely in awe. Inside are stone columns, well-preserved frescoes on the walls and ceiling and of course, St. Nam. The story goes that if you kneel in front of the cushion, and press your ear to it, you'll be able to hear St. Nam's heart beating. This was our favorite site during our time at Lake Arad, do not miss it. You'll find this monastery 30 kilometers south of the city of Arad, and you can get here by car, taxi, or by boat. Svati Jovan Monastery, St. John Monastery Another picture-perfect monastery, but this time it's Macedonian Orthodox. You'll find this church clinging to a cliff above Canio Beach just outside of Arad City. The views of the lake from here are outstanding, and if you want to find a peaceful place to just hang out and relax, this is it. The walk here is great as well. You can wander through the old town, and along the lake shore, before arriving at the church. To complete the circle, head up the hill along a path into the forest. You'll eventually arrive at the fort. Samuel's Fortress This was the capital of the first Bulgarian Empire, when Tsar Samuel ruled in the 10th century. Today this is a popular spot for tourists. The fortress is well intact and the views from here are sublime. Church of St. Sophia This church is one of the most important monuments in all of Macedonia. It's been home to a number of faiths since 850 Christian, Bulgarian Orthodox, and Muslim. Inside you'll find architecture, art, and frescoes from the Middle Ages. Ancient Theater This theater was constructed in 200 BC, and is from the Hellenistic period, between the death of Alexander the Great and the start of the Roman Empire. Only the lower section of the theater exists, but it's still very impressive. Actually, during the Roman times, this theater was used for gladiator fighting. Check out the traditional homes. Arad's architecture is unique. The lanes are narrow and very tight, with houses actually built hanging over the roads. 
The houses are all painted white to help with the intense heat of the sun, and there aren't many open areas or yards due to lack of space, and to help avoid the strong winds from the lake. A few noteworthy homes to check out are Rob FC and Uranija houses, and the homes along Karsima Il and Ilandenska streets. Swimming, snorkeling and diving. If you visit Lake Arad during the summer you'll be able to fully enjoy all of the water activities. Even though Lake Arad can be visited year-round, all of the water activities can only be done in the summer. Hiking and walking. There are a few trails around the old town of Lake Arad, but for a more exciting adventure, why not walk around the entire lake? If you don't have about a week to spend hiking and camping along the shoreline, you can make your way to the village of El Shani on the east coast. This is a great starting point for numerous trails around the area. You can also hike to the villages of Conjasco or Pestani from here. Epiphany Festival If you're able to, and if you don't mind the chilly weather, try to time your trip to Lake Arad for the Epiphany celebrations. This festival is celebrated by Christians around the world, with those in Macedonia, and the East, commemorating the baptism of Jesus. Brave, crazy, men jump into the 7 degrees Celsius water, with air temps around minus 7 degrees Celsius, in search of a wooden cross that was thrown into the lake by a priest just moments before. The man who collects the sunken cross is blessed and given good luck for the rest of the year. He also gets to go house to house to receive money. No matter which time of the year you decide to visit Lake Arad, you'll have a memorable experience. Even in the dead of winter it's still incredibly sunny and the skies are pure blue. The snow-capped mountains just add an extra element to this already picturesque destination. Meanwhile, if you come in the summer months, you'll be able to do some hiking, swimming and sunbathing. Plus, more shops, restaurants and hotels will be open for tourists. Lake Arad is a natural wonder of not only the Republic of Macedonia, but Europe as a whole. Like us and join us at Extreme Collections for more fun and knowledge.